Ford thingy, Segway thingy, scooter thing I'll be messing around with. Check out some upcoming videos, I'm going to be doing some pretty funky things on it. Um, I've just been trialling out a few accessories for this, including a go-kart setup, <laughs> which I'll show you guys in a bit, but I just went to get it out today and I noticed a jingle. There's definitely a jingle in there, which means there's something loose, <laughs> which is no good because these can, um, yeah, apparently they used to catch fire a lot. Hopefully this one won't because it's got the UL certification on there. If they come with the UL certification, it means the battery's hunky-dory and uh, she's all good to go. Uh, that's what I'm hoping, so anyway, I'm going to find out what that jingle is. So if any of you guys out there have one of these and have a jingle like that, well, hopefully it won't be uh, all bad. I think we're going to need to undo this here. I'm doing this cold, never done it before, so let's see if we can find out what that jingling is. Um, yeah, jingling. There's lots of things that can go jingling in here, aren't there? Okay, what's that stuck on by? A little bit of ah, yes, my um, ah, my sticker. Okay, that up there carefully. Ah, okay, drop all our screws out. Certainly smells like battery. Alrighty, here's our big. What is it? Uh, 36 volt DC. There's our jingle. <laughs> What's going on here? So that looks like it's a closed off system there. So. It shouldn't let any stones or anything in. So what I might do is just take this off of here. Which is the LED power wire. What else we got in here? Okay, so let's try and find out the culprit. The jingling culprit. Where are you? Mm. It's going to be no easy way to do this. Let's shake it. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, okay. And there it is. The culprit is a screw. And I can already see where it's come from. So this is definitely going to be a Sky Pilot top tip day. Because this screw comes from right there. You guys can see that it's the looks like a cooler underneath it and uh, main circuit board the brains I suppose of this side of the Segway it's come yeah straight out of there yeah well, I don't know what you reckon but I reckon it's pretty dangerous because if that lands on here somewhere it could quite easily cause a short I don't know too much about electricity, but I know that much. That will cause a short, um, cause something to burn out, and or um, cause it to catch fire. At the very least, completely destroy your Segway. So I think we better put that back in place. Which brings me on to my next topic. I think we should go through all of these screws and make sure they're all nice and tight. Like I said, uh, yeah, you get some screws bouncing around on here, it will certainly compromise <laughs> some of the electronics sooner or later. So you hear a wriggle in it, a jingle in it, a rattle in it. Certainly time to pull it apart and just run over everything. Okay, let's put it back together again. 
The pointy end screw goes close to the neck here and have an extra two and the pointy end screw goes up the end here so Okay, there you have it folks, jingle free, you ready? Okay, I'm going to go test it out outside, let's plug it in now to see if she works. It's a controlled environment, make sure it's level, oh, turn it on, full power battery, and there we go. Looks good to me. Awesome, so yeah, I hope you've gotten something for this guys. If you've got one of these Segways or a Segway similar and it's got a rattle on it, for goodness sake, <laughs> pull it apart, find out what the rattle is because it could be a screw. And if you go for roly poly, which these do roly poly a bit, and the screw lands on top of the circuit board, yeah, zap zap, she's all over. So I'm going to go be a pro, I'm going to go have a hack. Thanks for tuning in. Happy New Year, thumbs up, and yeah, plenty more vids coming. Take care, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, see you on the road, see you in the sky. Bye, for now.